Coming up, it's the coaching tip. And once again, also, who's got the better strategy? Is it me? Is it Swayze? Is it Shimmy? Uncle, what'd you pick up? Yeah, look, for, for we, when we speak about the coaching tip, and, and, and our, there's just an opinion as well. But what I saw, I saw some schoolboy rugby yesterday as well, okay. and the guys don't understand the numbers game. It, especially when it comes to this box kicking. If you put six, five guys in for the box kick, you only got a few guys to attack with and all the defenders on their feet. When you say five guys, that's that breakdown. Yeah, yeah okay. you can never flood or overload the breakdown. Your own ball, eh? On your own ball. Now, a lot of the guys say, yeah, but you got safety first. You could need numbers for the box kick. But now you're selling your hand. It's only the box kick. So what does the defense do? They've got 14, 15 guys on their feet and they can fall back quickly. So my coaching tip is, if you recycle the ball, even if you kick it, you've got to lose less numbers to have numbers on the next action. Otherwise, you can all, you'll always be late. Right. Especially with the scrum off like crappy at the lines, man. I don't want the guy to go into a mold of a lot of box kicking with five, six guys on the ruck. If you see there now, I don't want, for me, uh, Matty and Shimmy, that is, the box kick is coming. There's no way you can run it. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six guys from the lines out of play there. All the Pumas are Also, it just looks so strange. Is the way they channel the ball back. It's just like yes. amateurs. Now, now, for me, if you kick that ball, the ascendancy, the advantage will always go to the receiving side. I don't care what they say. And from there, the Pumas will always hurt you if they catch that ball. Like they did in this case. So the scrum off will say that, but I need more depth. They need to be protected. How do they go 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 about that? That's my you, you, one or two guys there. Now for me, that's a be much enough. better one. Okay. You don't need that. There's one, two, three guys in. From there, you can still have a go. Okay. But as I said, I don't look at this blind. It's on to play. Now it's a, you've got the ball. Now you make it a 50-50. Count the number suddenly of the Pumas. There's about how many guys helped me? Eight guys in the Pumas there, three line guys, and you made it a 50-50. So I don't, from my coaching tip for this week is, if you've got three guys in, you want to give the box kick, it's fine. Don't overload your numbers if it's not necessary. Because in the next action, you'll be out of numbers. Yeah, out of time. The, yeah the, the important thing is the next action, what, what you the do once action. that ball goes... How do you get back into a defensive shape? How do you apply pressure but keep control if the opposition get the ball? You know, I think you see with a lot of broken, with a lot of box kicks, with t uh, scraps, sorry, that, that creates broken field opportunity yes. there. So if the Lions get that ball back, you've got so many Pumas around one area, two passes, you're into space, you know. Talk about the passes. Trust the pass of the weekend. We're running out of time here, boys. Yeah, so the, it, it was for me, you know, you talk about players on their feet and the ability to work off the ball. There's certain things that players do to create opportunity. You Have a look at BJ Dixon here. So the easiest thing for players to stand back, he puts pressure on Chris Smith. But the amount of province players working back here, knowing that it is a box kick, you need to protect the... Exactly. The, 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 sorry, the, the catcher here. Bromikis does well. He realizes in a bit of trouble. But look here, that's uh, Quenza Blossi. He was actually... In that track, that he worked hard, worked hard uh, back pretty hard, and then get into shape again. Pass of the weekend? Yeah, pass of the weekend. Swayze, what do you think? Maybe. Yeah, brilliant pass. I loved it. Uh, you know, <laughs> I say you can never give a no look, but that was, he was, it was just a perfect pass. And, and talking about, if you have a look at that now, oh man, soft hands, soft skills. Talking about the, 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 the Stormer side or the side, the, the, the Curry Cup side, what they play, they always control the numbers somehow. And that's exactly to my coaching yeah. tip. You've got to think of the next action and the next action as well. And uh, that's, that's an easy one. It's a basic one, but it's a very fruitful one if coaches want to apply it. I think just players on their feet, the ability for the forwards to work hard off the ball. You talk about what you're doing without the ball. Yeah. What's the next action? For me, that's a great example. Locke puts pressure. All that, the whole pack drops back to win that ruck. I think there's one or two passes. Uh, Bromikis gets into shape, shows his hands, animation, and he creates space for, for the other guys to do the work.